Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think that it does not matter what his credentials are, he is going to stand with him and prove that he's better, they usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Delray Beach, Florida, USA, Assassin! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Great. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the any takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Ooh, big shot land. Tags him with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just missed with the left there. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Able to land there with the straight left. And a 
nice job at least staying upright on that. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Left, but that's a miss. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Ten seconds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Beautiful kick. Oh, That's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, straight right. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by the Assassin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he...